When a riding mower is too small and a compact tractor is too big, this bad boy tractor is a great option. It's narrow enough to fit into barn stalls and through gates, while powerful enough to handle homestead projects. In this video, we're looking at the Bad Boy 1025H subcompact tractor. I'll cover all the specifications and standard features that you'll get, and I'll also tell you about the price. Now subscribe to the Tractor Bob YouTube channel, and let's get started. At Tractor Bob's, we love Yanmar diesel engines, which is why the 1025H is one of my favorite bad boy tractors. The 1025H comes with a three-cylinder, liquid-cooled Yanmar diesel engine. The engine is 24.6 horsepower with a displacement of 77.3 cubic inches and a fuel tank of 5.8 gallons. This tractor is two-wheel drive and four-wheel drive selectable. The transmission is hydrostatic with dual pedals, one forward and one reverse pedal. Also, the transmission is a two-range transmission, which is engaged using the high and low lever on the left hand side of the tractor. This is a really nice feature to have on a tractor in this small of a form factor. The hood is made of steel which is a nice touch and when you lift the hood everything is relatively easy to access on this tractor. However it's not the best we've seen on this channel in terms of ease of access to all the major components. When it comes to attachments, you won't find yourself too limited when it comes to selection for the Bad Boy 1025H. For starters, this tractor has a mid PTO so you can run a belly mower on this tractor. It also has a rear PTO as you'd expect. The PTO horsepower is 18.8, which is solid for a 24 horsepower tractor. The three point hitch is a category one, meaning this isn't just a little garden tractor, but this tractor is able to work in more commercial applications. You can also add up to one rear remote valve if you'd like to have a hydraulic top or side link or to run a log splitter or other hydraulic attachments on the back. The hydraulics are power assistant hydrostatic so the RPM on your tractor will affect the lifting capacity. Lastly the hydraulic flow, the power steering plus the implement is 7 gallons per minute and the max lift capacity for the back is 1101 pounds. The Bad Boy 1025H has a nice little quick disconnect loader, so taking on and off the loader will be a breeze. Also, the attachment style for the bucket is a skid steer style quick attach, which is super nice, so adding different tools to the front will be super, super easy. The bucket size that comes on the loader is 50 inches wide, the max lift height is 71.3 inches to the top, the lift capacity is 617 pounds to full height at the pivot pin, and the weight of the loader is about 550 pounds. Now the one thing that I like about this tractor is that you can run a small backhoe on the back. The backhoe has a 12 inch bucket and is a subframe mounted quick attach backhoe and the digging depth is 76 inches. The overall dimensions of the Bad Boy 1025H are as follows. The overall length is 104 inches. The overall width is 45.8 inches. Having the width be well under 48 inches means that this tractor will be more likely to fit through all those tight spaces that might be hard or impossible to get to with a bigger tractor. Now the height is 91.3 inches. The wheelbase is 57.5 inches. The ground clearance is 9.5 inches and the turning radius is just 45 inches. The weight of the tractor is 1610 pounds finally the front tires are 20 by 8 by 10 and the rear tires are 27 by 12 by 15. now for the price of this tractor as always, prices are subject to change depending on when you are watching this video, and they may also vary depending on the dealership you purchase through. Now at Tractor Bob, you can buy the 1025H for $17,500 or for as low as $244 a month with approved credit. Now there is a possibility that this tractor could go on sale in the near future. So if you're on Facebook, make sure to follow Tractor Bob's to see our latest deals on tractors, mowers, UTVs, and other outdoor equipment. All in all, the best Bad Boy 1025H is a solid tractor that's reliably built. While it's not the easiest when it comes to servicing the filters or changing the oil, it makes up for it by being so compact yet powerful and able to handle tough jobs. I would highly recommend this tractor to someone who's looking to maintain their small acreage homestead. This tractor is also a really great option for people who might already own a tractor but just need something small to fit inside their barn and grab pallets on the rack or small bales of hay. Thank you so much for watching this video on the Bad Boy 1025H subcompact tractor. If you enjoyed this video, give us a big thumbs up. That really helps us out a lot. Hit that subscribe button to see more content like this and tap the bell icon to stay notified. Have a great day.